Okay, the second bullet, uh, which I already discussed earlier on, eh? uh, the second bullet would be to comply with employer's directive. Obviously, you are to comply with the employer's directive. Whatever the employer asks you to do, therefore, uh, you have to follow. So, uh, this is quite basic, right? If you go to work, obviously, you will get instruction from your uh, employer. So in this particular case, to just il il uh, illustrate what happened uh, when you are not able to comply with the directive of your employer. In Oasis Mikbar and Lim Ting and others, 1962, uh, these three employees uh, who works at the uh, Mikbar, the company that uh, do, what they call it, uh, chocolates, right? So they are to note the use of eggs and margarine uh, in baking breads. Yeah? So in this case, uh, it is about making bread, which they never comply. Yeah? If you go and see a uh, company that ba bakeries, yeah? so they might usually have uh, so-called recipes. Yeah? But these recipes is uh, fluctuate, uh, fluctuative in nature. So it is not exactly as what uh, it's supposed to be. So it is uh, what they call it. Uh, 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 it's a variable cost rather than a fixed cost. So a fixed cost is very. Otherwise, if you use uh, robots, then it is very precise. You know what is your fixed cost. But since you are using people, uh, obviously you have to have some kind of uh, fluctuation of the raw materials that you use. So the uh, employer asked them to take note how many eggs or margarines that, that they are using. Uh, after three days, uh, because they were informed, uh, this uh, first day they were asked uh, to do it and they were said about the importance of them taking uh, note, otherwise they might be uh, you know, terminated which they did not. After three consecutive days, uh, they still do not uh, do what the instruction was asked towards them. So they were dismissed and then they took legal action against the employer saying that they are not supposed to do it. So it went to the labor office and then the labor office agrees with them. And uh, the labor office is saying that uh, there is no uh, implied duty for the workers to take note of all the things that they are doing. So, uh, so the employer was not happy and asked for a review, a judicial review. And um, the court says that, uh, yeah, uh, they, they have done something that is against the employer's directive. When the employer uh, clearly identified uh, for them to do so, even though it is not in writing, uh, in the contract act, it does uh, sorry in the contract uh, of employment it does not state clearly what are their duties but directive can come uh, from time to time right so their <laughs> their the disagreement with, to comply with the employer's directive uh, leads them to be terminated and the court uh, says they are validly uh, the dismissal was Consider as valid. 